what is going on guys it is october 2nd i was gonna start this vlog series yesterday on october 1st but i didn't think about it until about 4 a.m so it was already october 2nd by the time i figured i was gonna do a 25 days of sema crunch so it's actually day two of what we're starting in the series but behind me we've got the single cab dually up on the lift I've got a million rock lights that I need to wire in um, contrary to popular belief if for those that don't know me or know what I do in the shop and and such I have my own shop here in Lubbock Texas I am the only one in said shop I don't have a team of people helping me do everything it's Quite literally just me um, my fiance comes on the weekends to help out where he can uh, he is not a mechanic he's not um, automotively inclined so he does industrial construction and commercial electrician is what he does so he helps when he can on the weekends when I need just stuff being moved around or help with heavy lifting and so on and so on so everything that's done on the vehicles in my shop is me and me alone the only things that I outsource is powder coating to a local shop here in Lubbock called coating specialists specialists and we also have our audio outsourced to Vernon signature audio we have Leon over at VSA do all of our audio so everything else I do in-house from vinyl wrapping to lighting to suspension wheels tires the only things we don't do is mount and balance we have those done at Texas tires and aside from that everything you've seen done on these trucks and Jeeps and so on is me so with that being said I've got three vehicles that are going to SEMA this year we have the single cab dually behind me we have a 2021 TRX that we're also taking which is the matching setup to the dually and the 2021 Jeep Wrangler which is right over here so we're getting a little bit of everything figured out and <sighs> I'm a little stressed, not gonna lie, but it's okay. We gotta power through it. So the Jeep is gonna be in the Air Design booth. So we are running two different styles of fender flares that they have from Air Design. So one side will have the racer style, the other side will have the Panther Pro style. So we're actually installing two different styles of fenders on the Wrangler. After SEMA, we'll take the other style off so that we have the same style on. But for SEMA, we wanted to display both since this vehicle will be in their booth. So they wanted to showcase both styles on the same Jeep. So that's what I'm doing on the Jeep. I have the dually for a couple more days until I have to take it back to the audio shop to get the uh, box completed and all the speakers put back into it. It doesn't fit in his shop once the suspension is done, so I'm having to delay the suspension being done on it until the audio is completed. So that could get a little crazy with the scheduling wise. Um, the TRX is already outside. I just needed some extra room in the shop so we kicked it outside. It's fairly almost pretty much all the way done. We have a whole box full of F FCK rock lights that we'll do all red lighting on the TRX so I've got a million rock lights to do on the TRX a million rock lights to do on the dually I still haven't even tapped into the lighting for XK glow on the Jeep and it is October 2nd so I'm going to leave that intro as is and get to working so follow me through a day in the life of a SEMA crunch shop owner mechanic builder lady person so here we go so because there is so much going on with different vehicles and such the only way that I can stay basically organized is my little whiteboard list of things so I'm gonna show you all kind of what that entails so we've got each vehicle color coded 
along with the trailers. I haven't even thought about having to do stuff with the trailers because we've switched a whole bunch of stuff around with how we're going to get to SEMA and such. I haven't even updated this list yet, so uh, yeah. Here's just like a little overview of the TRX. Anything with like a video sign next to it is stuff that I really wanted to get content with or highlight during the build process, whether it be for YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, whatever it may be. Um, basically just kind of like showing everything of what's left to do. And these are obviously the parts and outside labor that I'm waiting on. This is the one that makes me super nervous because this is all stuff that I don't have in my shop. And so I'm either waiting for it or it's in the mail or another outside shop has it. Like the powder shop has it or the audio shop. So it just, those are the things that stress me out, which is funny because it's like totally out of my control. But I think that's why it stresses me out. Whereas if it's in my shop, I can, I can just figure it out when I have time whether it be till 4 a.m. putting lighting on a truck so that's basically where I'm at with that um, what I started yesterday was the rock lights all right so we got these little baby two prong connectors come on focus well anyways so basically I have all of these to run up to the front of the vehicle so that I can put a harness on them and connect them all to the battery. But these are all the underglows. What's super cool about these lights is that they're magnetic and I can kind of just like move them around wherever I want. They're kind of like these magnets are pretty hard. But what's cool about them is that I can put them on frame rails. Or wherever I want to put them and don't have to drill into places so that is super duper nifty those are from NG lighting and they're insanely bright it's it's an it's an absolutely crazy how bright they are so that's super cool like you can stick them wherever you want which is quite awesome so since we're starting the series a day late, I'll just kind of give y'all an update of what we did yesterday, which would have been October 1st to make it a true 25 days of SEMA crunch. So yesterday we did, let me think about this, what all did I do? Basically I started the connectors for the rock lights and then we also did rotors and pads from R1 Concepts rotors, which are super pretty and shiny and gorgeous. It's kind of hard to see, but they're in there. That's always fun. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be posting a video on those or not. It's on like my TikTok and Instagram because I filmed it up and down, not side to side. So I'm hoping that I can try to edit that content to make it YouTube viewable, maybe. If it isn't, then I'll make it into like a YouTube short probably. But, so that's what we did yesterday. I did the driver's side and taught my fiance how to do the passenger side by basically following all of the process that I did on the driver's side. So, bless his heart. I love that man so much. He's so freaking cute. And I love that he wants to learn. Like, that's the best part is that I'm not just wasting my time answering questions to whatever like he genuinely wants to learn so I love that and it makes me feel really happy but anyway so enough about that so it was cool that we were able to basically team up and partner on doing the rotors and everything so that was super sweet so that's basically what we got accomplished yesterday was rotors and pads on front and rear. The rear is a whole other story. If y'all have ever done dually rotors, you got to take out the axle shafts and the whole nine yards, redo seals and all of the things. So we got all that done and then I started doing rock lights and started doing the wiring. So basically today, catch up to speed today, we had the new lighting for the other truck come in so we've got bumper pods that came in we've got rock lights for the trx that came in and the starlight headliner kit that came in and a million other things that came in 
So I will be working on that because we have to have the dually back to the audio shop on Wednesday so that they can finish up the audio on it. And while it's at the audio shop, that's when I'll be taking that time to work on the, the lighting on the Wrangler and the TRX. So lots of juggling around, but it is what it is, part of it. And that's all we can do really. So um, basically I'll be spending the next two, three days of just doing as much as I possibly can on the dually because the suspension is going to be a whole other ball game once it comes back from powder and it's going to be just nothing but go time once the dually gets back from audio. So that is what I'm going to be doing today and this week and I'm hoping that we can cross some stuff off of the laundry list because I still have to add stuff to the list. I'd rather be crossing it off than adding to it, but I guess we're doing a little bit of both, so we better start going to work because holy cannoli.